Man accused of hitting and killing a jogger isn't behind bars yet. He is recovering at a Portland hospital. Police say Corey Jensen was probably high when he hit Cynthia Barton Rabe and left her to die right on the side of the road yesterday, just outside of Beaverton. K2's Lincoln Graves is at Legacy Emanuel Hospital, and Lincoln, both the victim and the, hus uh, and the suspect were at that hospital. Uh, that's right, Natalie. The victim was flown here after she was struck, where sadly she later died. The suspect here, Corey Jensen, also taken here to Legacy Emanuel. He's listed in critical condition this morning. Investigators say he will likely be charged, well, arrested, then charged, after a mental evaluation and a drug test. Now, that mental evaluation being ordered in part to his bizarre behavior during all of this. After the accident, police say Jensen ditched the car, ran at another stopped car, and headbutted the windshield. 30 minutes later, police found him wandering a nearby road naked and yelling at no one in particular. At the same time, neighbors were frantically trying to help the victim. That's when I ran outside. I said, I'm not, I'm not going to let anyone die on my driveway. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do what I can, and I ran out. And uh, he asked me, what do you have? You have nothing in your hands. And I said, I have CPR. <laughs> I'm going to try. We're told the suspect had been attending a music festival in the area and may have been using drugs. He also likely stole the car used in the accident. A bizarre story here this morning with, again, that suspect in critical condition, but also a very sad story with that woman dying from her injuries. I definitely could learn more details about this case later on today, and we'll keep you updated. Live in North Portland, Lincoln Graves, K2 News. All right, Lincoln, thanks.